Danforth. Speaker, thank you. My question to the Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. Climate change is one of the most important and far-reaching issues facing this planet. But by selling Hydro One, this government is making it more difficult for Ontario to take action on climate change. Hydro One is moving into the hands of private owners. They have no interest in conservation since they make more profit when people use more electricity, not less. Hydro One is now moving into the hands of private owners who have no interest in upgrading the grid and connecting to renewable energy sources unless they're guaranteed fat profit and zero risk. Why, why is the government making climate change action more difficult by selling off hydro? Question. Thank you. Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I, I'm always amazed at the ability for the NDP to spend money but never tell us where it's coming from, Mr. Speaker. Trees, it grows so you, may, you may have noticed, Mr. Speaker, that we, we're moving forward with a carbon market and a price on carbon, but we don't have that revenue yet, Mr. Speaker. So we just committed to a major home retrofit program to help people reduce their heating costs and cooling costs and create jobs, a major electric vehicle subsidy program, electric charging program. Well, that money didn't come from pixie dust and fair Order. speaker. It actually came from trying to manage out of the difficult recession without increasing the tax burden and reducing services. So broadening ownership of part of a utility, which is terrifyingly ideologically framed for that party, but is Answer. in the world of most Member people a pragmatic solution to finding money to create jobs and build our economy, Mr. Speaker. And but I'd be happy in the supplementary to elaborate further. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Speaker, I guess the minister didn't want to answer that question, so I'll go to the second part. Germany privatized much of its transmission grid in the 1990s, and now Germany realizes that they made a huge mistake. They now realize that if they're to move towards a low-carbon, renewably-powered economy, that the public needs to own and control the grid. The government has often looked to Germany for lessons from its renewable energy transition. Will the government learn from Germany's great mistake and stop the further privatization of Hydro One? Thank you, Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Germany is closing 11 nuclear plants right now, and I don't think we would do that given the implications that they've got coal coming back online. So I don't think we need to take lessons from Germany. But you know, Mr. Speaker, one of the things this government realizes is, is that the world is changing at a very fast rate. You can go to Barry uh, in my, my, my friend uh, uh, MPP Hogarth's writing, and we were out the other day. People are now buying homes with batteries, with inverters, with ground source heat pumps, with solars and computers, and they're buying that because they're net zero. And they're actually called prosumers. They actually generate more revenue. One of the challenges for government is going to be managing those old industrial assets that we have to for another 30, 40 years. We have to get more life out of them. We have to look at new and innovative ways to get revenues from assets that are quite frankly, in some cases, we're going to be less demand for and put them into assets like Answer. transit and other things of which there'll be greater demand for, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. To most Ontarians, I think that's a sensible approach. It certainly seems to be to this government. Thank you. 